Hey guys, I know that you are doing okay. That's why you keep on watching this video. So first of all, today I wanted to talk about the world and the wilder himself. All right. So here, I've done my best to break down stuff how they work. So first of all, let's say we have a project X. That's the name of the project. So from that project, we need a wilder, okay, to be part of the project. So what we do is we go to the welding engineer. Okay, so the welding engineer according to the project, whether it's a build, con uh, it's a bridge construction, whether it's a train construction, whatever it might be, then the welder give us what he wants. So he wants the, the sorry, the welding engineer give us what he wants. So he wants a certain process to be used for that project. So it might be TIG, MMA, MAG, and so and so. And then he wants a certain position according to how the welder will be welding. Either horizontal position, vertical position, overhead position, or flat position. He says he's there. Then he wants the welder to use a certain voltage, a certain voltage for that project. Then here it's how it comes. Then for the welder to be part of the project, a welder, a welder must go and weld this kind of stuff that you're seeing there okay so it's gonna go and weld these two plates these two plates with the specific position that the welding engineer said yeah with the specific process that the welding engineer specified here all right after that after he finishes everything with the specification with the, the voltage everything is done then this is how it comes this is how it comes. Then for us to qualify the wall that we put of the project, what we do, we come and cut the, we cut the, we cut maybe the according to the standards that they're going to use, the standard codes, whether it's ISO, whether it's ASMU, whether it's AWS. Then from there, we come here, we come here. Here we're having fillets wall, these are fillets walls. This is kind of what you're seeing there. So this is kind of what was the kind, kind of. All right, then we come here, we check how this looks like, how the world is. Then we check, we realize that there is a failure there. I've zoomed in for you on the screen there. You can see it. You can see it. So if I had, so if I had to draw lines here, for, though, to draw straight lines there, straight lines here, and here as well, you can see I'm having that. I'm having a problem with like side wall fusion. So there is a lack of side wall fusion between this wall there and then this plate there. So here I'm saying this wall that cannot be part of the project unless he goes and welds other plate which says that he can weld using the same process, using the same position, using the same uh, uh, the same voltage and so and so as specified by the welding engineer. So yeah. I'm having this kind of problem like the one that you see here please zoom that one in the one that you see here so i see that i have a lack of internal fusions lack of internal fusion you can see those are the runs those are the runs that's run there that's run there so there's a problem of fusion between the two runs between the world in the world so that's one for that i'm gonna say this world is not capable of doing what you have to do in that specific project so then you need to go back and what reward other plate so that can be part of the project so here i'm gonna show you so this here i feel it world i feel it world this is single-sided welded this is double-sided welded this is single-sided welded this is actually a full penetration okay this one here has fill it world these are partial penetration partial penetration partial penetration uh full penetration partial penetration partial penetration and these ones here are but world all right so we're gonna talk about world and stuff next time maybe but i wanted you to focus on what you see me, on what you see me. so what does no what does no and then as we know as engineers as technicians as what we are what we might call ourselves it's very important to know how things work so that's when you are exposed to it, you know what you have to say. You know how to defend yourself. You know how it goes. You know how the business is run. So you have to know those things. So I'm happy that you guys were around. 
and uh, hope to see you for the next video. For now, you're gonna take care of yourself and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and uh, don't forget to share if you like to share if you want other people to know what you know, and uh, don't forget actually to like as well if this has touched you. Thank you so much and take care of yourself for now. Bye.